We tore out that whole thing back there and that was really, really helpful. We also decided it would be a good idea so that we could see what's behind these walls because it's like crumbling. I guess they covered the whole thing with that really ugly bookshelf. We'll get that thing tear up. Today's Friday. I taken Azalea to her new forest school that she's going to until the end of the school year. I'm just gonna get her to school and go to Lowe's. I feel like I'm cheating on the Home Depot. Lowe's is right around the corner from us and I'm gonna go get some paint swatches for the exterior paint color, as well as a recycle bin and a few other uh, tidbits of things that we need for projects around the house. It's gonna be a productive day. Finally ready for school. It only took like 500 years. We have the Jeej. We have Poppy. Oh boy. And we have Zen. <laughs> and of course, wait, who? Right. Uni. Cool. Oh, yeah. and Odin. Zane, is your school inside or outside? Outside. Is it called a forest school? Yeah. And what do you get to do all day? Just hang out. <coughs> Sounds like fun. having an early start everyone's still asleep and so I thought I'd show Justin some of these paint colors that we kind of found at the Lowe's yesterday and paint a sample we have a bunch of these like little tiny containers they're about five dollars each and we went a little crazy painting inside to kind of get an idea for the trim color and the wall color and see how that would look in the day so it's nice to wake up and see the tone of the color i think the dark color that we have for the trim is too green and so i'm gonna try and find one that's a bit more like gray black blue jokoli but i think it's gonna look really really nice against this nice white, warm white, make it feel really clean and bright again. This black on the fireplace is amazing. We actually took this TV down last night because the Wi-Fi didn't work. We had to fix the wiring for the Wi-Fi. It was like pleated and so we pulled it down and it made us really love the wall without the TV there, which was never a plan to have the TV. So. Um, it was nice to see that fireplace open with the mantelpiece. So I think we're going to move the TV into this room, which will be the playroom. And we're going to rip out all these shelves because they're going to need to plaster behind these walls. We were just painting everywhere. We got like trim pieces, kind of just like tested out how it would look and kind of create a feel for the room. And even like this little cool detail right here. Now that we have an idea for the inside of Vibe, I think we need to switch out that like blackish color for a bit more of like these kinds of colors. So um, just got a bit more of like a blue gray kind of tint to it. And I think it'll go really nice with the outside color, which we're leaning towards more of a blue tone rather than a green tone. These were the two green color tones originally I had chosen. These are the two blue options. So there's this one, which is much more like teal and vibrant. And then there's this one, which is much more of like a gray blue. I think we're leaning towards liking this one the best. On the top of the house, we're gonna add like cedar shakes or shingles, however you wanna call it. And so to have this nice contrast and warmth should be cool. So let's go paint outside and see how they look. This is the one that I spilled in the Lowe's. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to spray it. <laughs> Goes so much faster. It's like slightly less teal but the same like depth of color as the one that was there. Let me paint this side. The opposite. So Jeej decided it was appropriate to have a robotic hoover in the house. Yeah. Put that on your blog. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, bud. So we are now out. Odin, proud owner of a robo rock. Five. 
Max. Swanky. That's where it goes back to all the time. It has different settings. Download the app. What's going on, babes? I don't know where else it's attached. What's happening? You decided to take this down. Yeah. See what's behind this wall and then try to reuse it. So like, I'm afraid maybe they nailed it in. It's hard to see because they covered up like these nail points. I found a few screws. But I don't see any more and it's still just not even there. You have to tip it. Ugly thing outside. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Here's your knobs. Sweet. Yeah, we'll keep those. Well, if they're brass, they're, they're cool. okay. Not approved. Uh, we could spray them. <laughs> Babes is out of control. He has some sort of Saturday morning motivation. I don't even think he had a coffee. Right, I have my <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, motivated you to do this project, babe? I don't know. Just I can't help it. Start. I'm gonna stop after this, right? Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. That plywood. Is that plywood on the top of this wood? I think it is. You're gonna rip out the massive, the subfloor, yeah. the plywood. It's just gonna get just torn to pieces. plywood on top of this. Uh, so it's yeah. wood floors. Well, it's uh, flat-ish. Well, then we can use that wood under there to salvage wood pieces that are broken elsewhere. Yeah, that's a good idea. They put uh, five inch planking, five by ones, uh -huh. or Same five by three quarters. Right yeah, you can see it. I mean, you they ran it yeah. on a diagonal. I'm just going to let the boys keep talking about wood. I'm going to finish cleaning. What is now the destruction zone? Well, this is not the destruction zone, this is the aesthetic zone. Wait, hold on, we need more paint. Nice, hold eh? Hold on, beep, beep, hold it. You're holding it? Hold it tight. So a little bit more purple. I love Hi, it. Boys. My purple. You want to finish doing the little bits? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Finally. See the little bits that we do Did you just say absolutely? Yeah. Love Did you really? Yeah, I'll show you what. It's looking good, eh? I like good. it a lot. Oh, yeah. Nice job decided I'd use uh, Black Mamba's efficiency to clean the space rather than me, so get to work. Zelia is excited about her bedroom. We picked out some colors for her rainbow mural that we're gonna do once we paint the whole thing a bit more of a light color. So she's ready to paint. We hung your fancy mirror. In my castle. And you have a castle. And these are some of the colors that we were thinking for your rainbow wall? Yes. Yeah. Right. Are these actually stickers? Red and yellow. They're not. They're like paint samples. Oh. Green, blue. I'm giving you like hot point. Purple. What other colors? Zay, show us where your rainbow is going to go. I'm going to go right over where my... Here. Mover is. Rainbow. And then more white walls here. Wallpaper? On this wall. And we found her these really cute doorknobs for her dresser, which I think will look nice. We got these cute little baseball bats. Yeah, you do. Okay, okay. That's not fine, new, fine, 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 fine. You got your laundry basket. Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine. Okay, so we're going to make a rainbow today. And okay. it's going to be so beautiful. It sure is. And yeah? we're going to make the wallpaper so beautiful with my hamburger to this. Big thank you to AG1 by Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. And it's a really great alternative to having so many supplements in your cabinet and just having a one bulk item that you can use as a drinkable vitamin boosting beverage. It's so quick and easy to make. You just take a scoop, shake it up, and enjoy it the way it is. Obviously your health is so important, so having a routine and a habit that you can stick with that keeps things really simple is a great way to keep up with your vitamins. So in each scoop, there's about 75 vitamins and minerals, whole food sourced superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. It's a really special blend of ingredients that helps your body to thrive and have great gut health, supports your immunity, gives you energy, helps you to really focus and keeps you feeling young. Adaptogens can be really helpful to help subside stress and emotion that you might be going through. They use natural B12 and never any synthetic ingredients. So if you guys are feeling like you might not be getting a well-rounded diet or feeling sluggish throughout the day, you might be missing some of those key vitamins and nutrients that your body isn't able to get through your food. So if you guys are willing to give it a go, you can go ahead and click the link in the description below. You can get a one year supply of vitamin D3, K2 and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. So if you guys are into trying something new and you're curious about a one year supply and five free travel packets of athletic greens and vitamin d and all the goodness that comes in each scoop then check out the link in the description below and get into something new to help you feel your best and thanks again athletic greens for sponsoring today's video cheers today is sunday it's my plant here again i had to get rid of all my plants yeah. and Love pass them along to other Love people so I was gifted several plants and got myself some new plants for the house. We took Odin to the vet the other day. The vet suggested that maybe he had a little bit of aggression in him. Um, I guess he growled when they took his food away. So we've been working on 
just making sure that he doesn't have those kind of characteristics as he gets older, especially with Azalea. It's something that's really important. Have a with this one. So I guess we're going through everything in this room. We're gonna get this place clean, tidy. We've been feeling really gung-ho about our construction things. Oh, and... And projects to come. Get some water what? for you. <laughs> so, no, 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 don't talk about it. We're gonna, Stop it. Well, we're probably doing the new roof next week. And then after we do the new roof and the foundation work, we're gonna be doing stuff inside the house. So we're trying to keep as much and stuff we're going to keep in storage. So that we don't have to move clean. everything. And there's cat litter. Yeah. Hey, Pop. Found your toolbox. I actually found you a grill kit. They're going to be doing a lot of things to the ceiling, like replastering and refinishing the flooring. And so there's going to be a lot of dust moving around. There's going to be two couples living here. Me, Justin, and Angelo and McKenzie. Huh? And then two and, kiddos, Knox and, and Zay. So it's a full house. And, and it's about to be full on construction. And we are got walkie talkies. Let's throw you? this all in the rubbish. I, I love you, Mama. I love you long weekend and week it feels like somehow we have all this energy and we're outside in the yard. It feels good now spring is around the corner. We've all been really tired and yet somehow have all this energy. Justin started digging up the uh, pot of the garden that we don't desire so much I guess. We're taking these bags so we can bring up it in my bed in the kitchen. Yeah, I was gonna say, hold on, not in your bedroom, because this is food stuff. Yes. I'm gonna go check on Odin's day. I haven't seen him in a minute. You good here? Yep. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Okay gang, I thought I would just quickly give you a lowdown of what's been happening because this video has been somewhat disjointed. There's a lot of little projects going on and so work sounds like it's gonna be starting next week or maybe even this week. We've got to choose some shingle colors and we met with our contractor who yeah, gave us the lowdown of how all the work is gonna go for the projects that we have decided to have him help us with. The first one being obviously the roof and he's gonna do some foundation repair. The concrete porch has been pushing on the house and that is causing the house to kind of shift and obviously since it's also so old, it's become a bit more settled into the ground. So that's something else that has to happen. And the magnolia tree in the front needs to just be controlled a little bit. I guess the root system is kind of pushing also against the house, causing a little bit of water damage and it's just not sealed and weatherproofed the way it should be. 
So he's gonna start doing work on that. Meanwhile, we had to choose the exterior color and interior color and all that kind of stuff so that we could get a feel for what color shingles we were gonna put on the roof. I'll go outside in a sec because it's just so cold, but I'll tell you about the inside because today was an exciting day. We met with an interior designer who's gonna help us kind of reorganize the kitchen. So first of all, let's go here. We tore out, obviously, <laughs> those whole, that whole thing back there. And that was really, really helpful. And this whole wall here was just crumbling away and just like completely worn down. I guess they covered the whole thing with that really ugly bookshelf. Um, and so it's a good thing we tore it down because one of the things that Dean is gonna be working on is filling up the cracks and redoing a lot of the walls. We don't have drywall, we have plaster walls. And so I think he's gonna be cutting out broken plaster and replacing with drywall so it's going to be a bit of a mix but the drywall should be a bit more durable than the plaster but this is definitely a wall that needs to be repaired we also started painting a bit this is the ugly old color that we had that was a bit more of like a green tint but we're going to be painting all our moldings this really epic dark kind of uh, I think it's called carbonized, so it's like this kind of gray color and we're gonna try and strip these pieces of beam here and see what kind of raw wood we're dealing with here so we can stain and have it be a rich finish that'll kind of go hand in hand with the floor. Um, and so it was really cool to kind of have this color show up really, really nicely against the white that we're choosing. It's so probably difficult to see on the camera <laughs> and you're gonna be like, what is she even talking about? They're exactly the same. If you can even tell, these are different white colors. This one's a bit more like gray in the shadow, and this one's a bit warmer. This is the one we're going with. <laughs> this is the finish we're gonna go with for downstairs, and then upstairs it'll be white moldings. You can see a little better over here on this fireplace. I repainted over like the ugly color. This is a bit more of that green color that we decided not to go with. And this is a bit more the color that we all go with, the carbonized gray. It's a bit more like dark blue gray kind of and goes really nice with the color that we chose for the outside. So I'll show you that in a minute. We reattached these epic doors. So these will also all be painted um, in that dark kind of trim. And then this whole room was gonna be white and then dark panelings down below. And then we were gonna play with these different ideas here in the kitchen and I don't know how easy it's gonna be to explain this well to you but so right here is our fridge right here is the back of the bathroom for downstairs we were gonna tear this whole thing down and then have the bathroom start at the end of that door there and close off the corridor because it connects to the sunroom or the laundry room, the mudroom, whatever you want to call it. And it's just not really necessary. But that would mean that the plumbing from the bathroom upstairs is directly above. And basically what we came down to is that it's gonna be a really big project. And it was gonna mean that we were gonna have to put together a plan that was gonna have to get resubmitted to the insurance. And I, we weren't sure if the bid that we had already initially given them was gonna allow us to do this big of a project because the price could be massively different. We're just gonna gut this place and leave it for now as an empty space. Maybe eventually it'll be like a breakfast nook or a laundry slash mudroom and then the sunroom, the laundry room that is now the mudroom would be like a sunroom. So in the end what we decided is that this is gonna be the kitchen. We're gonna close off this door that's right here I think we're gonna do it on this side. I'm not entirely sure yet, but what's gonna happen is we're gonna have kitchen counters all back here, a massive island right here, and then the opposite side of this room will be like a dinette kind of hangout area. So that's a huge project and kind of an unexpected change, but I think it'll be really beautiful. Like as soon as you come in from the front, you'll be able to see the whole kitchen space. It'll feel very open concept, but still be like, period for this house um, because that's obviously really important for us to kind of keep it in the same kind of genre of decor, finish, um, appliances and style but like obviously modern for today's people and how we live now. So that's what's happening there which is all very, I'm going to stencil the front porch, 
on the ground and paint it kind of matching the colors we chose for the outside and the risers are going to all be dark with a similar stencil from the front porch carried into the staircase all the way up so that's going to be really beautiful and lastly so the color that we chose look how disaster zone of all the stuff <laughs> we just ripped everything out okay so lastly the color that we're going with is like i think it's called navy seawall it's nice and dark i don't think the trim is going to be lighter i think it might be darker and if it's going to be lighter it won't be the color that i just showed you but we painted it in kind of a few different places to get an idea for the color and how it would look in all the different light areas so yeah i think we like that color a lot and for out here we'll have a new um, fencing around the front here and so when we close off the door the kitchen this door will no longer be here but you'll still have this front porch area and the there'll be like a gate here that will then connect all the way to the back that will take you to the backyard so you can access the backyard from the front porch so that's exciting a lot of big projects in the works and kind of in motion i should say i found some furniture pieces too which is fun i found this really beautiful rocking chair at the habitat for humanity for only 45 dollars anyways okay so yeah mackenzie and angela are coming here this week they really struggled when covid was kind of I guess last year mostly, they just got COVID a lot and so we're out of work a lot and things were a bit difficult for them and so we're excited for them to come into the space and kind of help them have some time that they need to be able to get back on their feet. It's also going to be just so fun having them around. They have Knox who will be here half the time and him and Azalea get along really, really well. He's only like maybe a year older. So it's going to be really fun to have the whole gang here and people living in the downstairs space. This house is honestly too big for just the three of us or four of us now with Odin. And so it'll be fun having friends around. Yeah, update with Odin is things are good. He's getting bigger, which is crazy. He's a little bit nippy still. We're teaching him a lot. Other than that, I don't know. It looks like everything is kind of coming together. We're gonna try and keep things not unpacked and have everything ready for when the builders start coming inside because it's gonna be a very messy project of them tearing things down from the ceiling and sanding on the inside but I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys in the loop with all the projects that are happening so you can see how everything kind of evolves and changes and comes together it's all very exciting and yeah I can't wait to show you how things look now and I guess how they'll look after it's gonna be good we have been waiting for a project like this for a very very long time and we appreciate all the people here who have reached out and come to say hello and to all our new neighbors and look forward to spending the next couple years here and um i guess with that that's all <laughs> until next time peeps and more house shenanigans and hopefully a new roof who knows so long Nice job, babe. Thanks. Demo! I'm <laughs> not really.